welcome. Right off the bat, we've got Miss World Canada. And uh, Mary Zobel, good to see you. exciting day because today we are very honored and privileged to have with us some delegates from this year's Miss World Canada and the event is going to be held May 11th at the Bell Performing Arts Centre in Surrey and we also have with us the chairman from Miss World Canada Mr. Ike Lalji and Miss World Canada from last year Miss Camille Monroe. There are tons of girls that are competing this year but unfortunately most of them are off doing their own thing and so we are very lucky to have these ladies here today despite their very, very busy schedules. And I'm so very, very grateful and blessed to be part of this event. So without further ado, how is everybody doing today? Pretty good. Good, nice. And if you ladies could all introduce yourselves and I guess say your name going around the table, that'd be great. Hello, I'm Alexandria Kay. I'm Aik Lalji. My name is Camille Monroe, Miss World Canada 2013. Hi everyone, my name is Sinti Tsayanjik. Hello, my name is Lisa Xie. My name is Taylor Jyoti. And my name is Erica Virk. Oh, that's great. And it's nice to meet all of you guys. And I'm really honored to be sitting here with such fabulous girls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Ike, um, what are the updates right now on Miss World? Well, uh, the big day is coming soon, very fast. Uh, mm -hmm. May 11th, that's Sunday, that's Mother's Day. So actually the event Aww. is dedicated to Mother's Day. And it's going to be about over 1,000 people. Uh, it's going to be more exciting than the last two years. So I am very happy. What I want to say here is like, uh, when we are having this event, is not only uh, the crowning day, but you see, it's a celebration where the communities, the businesses, they get together and basically to thank all the contestants across the country for all the good humanitarian work they have been doing all year round and raising funds for a variety. So it's a celebration. That's great. And as the chairman of Miss World Canada, what would you say is your vision for the pageant and how do you want it to change the world? Well, about two and a half years ago when I took over the pageant, uh, it excited me because it was a very powerful platform to empower young people of Canada, girls and boys, girls through Miss World Canada, boys through Mr. World Canada that's now coming up. Um, and uh, the other thing that I also liked and I introduced is the development program. Because to empower any young people, you need education. You need ongoing skills that you have to build lifelong. So I was excited about that. And then the, the powerful platform of Miss World is like, um, Miss World is the largest page in the world. It has 147 countries that are part of it. and. Um, it's the most prestigious pageant, and, 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 and that pageant is different from any other pageant is because it's philanthropic and humanitarian. So this is what I liked about this pageant. 
That's great. And I know when uh, you were talking to me last time, what I like the most about what you do for the pageant is that you don't just focus on the winners, but all of the girls who are competing and you give them an opportunity to really help out and you know promote their advocacies and things like that and I think that really touches the hearts of not just me but anyone else who's going to be interested in either joining or watching and that definitely will put a smile on the face of anyone who's joining because they know that you know in the end no matter what happens they're always going to be able to make a difference in the world and that's really great and Camille Miss World Canada 2013. So tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe I guess your experience. Well thank you so much for having us uh, today. A little bit about myself. So I was born and raised in Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, I'm the first woman to win Miss, the title of Miss World Canada um, from Saskatchewan in 50 years. So when I won it was one of the most amazing experiences because I was able to now bring the crown back to Saskatchewan and to share it with my friends and family there. Since I was crowned, I've had the opportunity to do some amazing things across Canada. I've uh, participated in many events and um, taken on a, a, a lot of different initiatives that have helped um, women, children, families. It's just been an amazing experience. Miss World Canada has given me a larger platform to, to speak of my, um, the, thing, the things that are important to me, the things that I want to share with others. And so I am looking so forward to the crowning here in May. And I'm very excited for who will be Miss World Canada 2014 because she will be a part of an amazing organization and a part of the development roster which our chairman was speaking to earlier which will keep her engaged with Miss World Canada for the rest of her life. So. Wow that's beautiful and for sure Miss World Canada has definitely changed your life a lot and I bet you are so busy now like you were seeing how uh, all your busy flights on planes and things mm -hmm. like that so your schedules must be like oh, yeah all over <laughs> wow. <laughs> You know, something that people don't realize, I think, is how mentally exhausting it can mm -hmm. be holding this title because it's not, you know, wearing the fancy dresses and, and getting all dolled up all the time, that's the that's great fun part of it. But they have to also realize there's a lot of work that goes uh, behind it as well and you, you become an ambassador for your country and so, you know, trying to make my schedule Easy it has not been easy. <laughs> uh, it's been a lot of work trying to keep everything balanced, but I have an amazing team behind me. I have a lot of family and friends who are very supportive. And so that's, again, something that I think is very important for whoever is going to carry on this title, to have that support system from family and friends, but also to realize that the organization itself, Miss World Canada, does an amazing job of taking care of you and of making sure that you are a great ambassador for your country. I definitely believe that if you are going to become a delegate of um, Miss World Canada, it's very important that you realize um, that you should go into it 100%. Mm -hmm. I think the next ambassador of our country has to be someone who is philanthropic, who has or who is a humanitarian, and who is willing to devote their time and energy to um, making their cause and the cause of Miss World Canada known around the country. I believe that Miss World Canada has touched the lives of many people in Canada, especially children who we help through Variety, uh, the children's charity. And so I believe it's very important that they are willing to work um, with many organizations, dedicate that time and that energy um, to making that difference. And it is very rewarding. That's great. And like you said, too, um, I like how you were uh, referring to the whole purpose of Miss World Canada and I know that your slogan is beauty with a purpose and mm -hmm. that's true because one life which is yours uh, could obviously change thousands of others across the world and for you what was it like when you were crowned Miss World Canada and what was it like to know that you can finally make a difference and promote what you want to help? Mm -hmm. You know it was it was the weirdest feeling. <laughs> the next morning I woke up and I had my body just felt heavy and almost like all of these different emotions had just flown through me and so much adrenaline and I hadn't slept very much that night by the time we got to my hotel and everything and I was able to actually close my eyes because I was so excited I'd only had about an hour sleep so you oh. can imagine that I was just so emotional at the time and I had uh, so many family members and friends around me I had about 14 people come to the uh, final crowning night competition so I had a lot of friends and family and supporters around me 
And just that feeling of knowing, wow, I now have this title. I am honored to be this ambassador. I'm honored to work with Miss World Canada and to represent our country at Miss World. And it was a lot of responsibility and a lot, a lot all at once, but it was an amazing experience and something I'll never forget. And like we were saying before, um, just knowing that now being a part of Miss World Canada, which is the only uh, Miss World franchise, I should say, in the world that has this development program, knowing that um, I can now be a part of this for the rest of my life is, is an amazing feeling because I'm now joined on to something that is bigger than myself, bigger than my cause personally, and I can share that now with the world and for um, further future delegates um, that are to come in the next year's competitions. What do you think are the best qualifications that you personally have as a Miss World Canada delegate? I believe um, my personal qualifications is that I have inner and outer beauty, uh, which is very important, and due to the experiences in life that I've had, I definitely want to share that. Um, the Miss World Canada organization gives us a platform to really voice our cause on a world stage. Uh, mine is anti-bullying, so I really want to share that with kids because I was bullied previously as well, and I want to share my story with them, and I want to hear their story, and I want to let them know that uh, they're not alone, and I, I really want to help everybody in that sense, so I think that's very important. Nice. I love the whole anti-bullying platform you have because I myself was bullied all the way until maybe like last year, and of course, as a public image, until now, you can still get strangers hitting you with all these stones and things like that, and I think the best thing is to just always focus on the bright side of things, as cliche as it sounds, and just move forward. Because in the end, we can all come out on top. We can all be strong, like you yourself, strong woman. And so moving forward from all that strength and all, I was reading your guys' biographies on the Miss World Canada website. And I saw all of these achievements and all the things you guys have accomplished. And I'm like, oh my goodness. The best thing I knew how to do was to cut a watermelon in the summer. I can't even touch a knife without crying. I'm like, I'm going to, oh. So anyways, whoo, okay. For you ladies, what do you think would, you would say is your greatest achievement? I think it's really amazing how all of the women across Canada have come together to you know, fight for the same cause on the larger, um, larger stage. But for myself, um, I'm actually the youngest delegate this year. Um, I'm, I just turned 18, so I still have Ooh. school and everything, so I think for that itself, I've already taken a really big step to challenging myself. Um, as both of you guys, I think a lot of people have been bullied, but mm -hmm. I was a victim of bullying um, back in elementary school. And so I think now that I've come to a greater platform, I'm going to raise awareness for anti-bullying, work for organizations that provide services that counsel kids. And so I think that's a very, um, the greatest achievement I've done to bring the cause onto the world stage and voice out about it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. The fact that you guys are all here today to represent what you, what you want to promote and what you care about is already an achievement in itself. And you're all winners and queens already, so that's all good. Mm -hmm. But compared to all the other people who are competing against you, what do you think makes you different from everyone else? We all do have our differences, but clearly we all have our similarities. I mean, two of us have already mentioned being bullied, and I think everyone in the world can relate to that. So the fact that we're all coming together to do something not only for ourselves, but for everyone else, it connects us all and gives us a powerful platform, and we all build connections with one another and become family members. Like I, I think of some of these girls as my sister. And I think just doing this alone brings us all together. So it's not really our differences that we're focused on. It's what makes us one. That's beautiful. And as Disney Channel would say, we're all in this together. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy line what of the day. Team? <laughs> Wildcats! All right, so if you were to win the Miss World Canada title, what project would you create to help and promote your advocacy? So I would like to promote uh, worldwide education on reducing intolerance. I really think that people should have more understanding of different cultures, religions, ethnicities, and um, more importantly understand that the word different is no more or less. It's just different. Thank you. I love that and I love that you're promoting equality because I think that 
in our time today, especially how we were talking about anti-bullying, a lot of the things that come in our way are like discrimination, things like that, ethnicities, sexualities, religions, cultures, and it's nice to see lots of women of different color and different culture, traditions all together, and this is such an emotional day, oh my goodness! <laughs> So if you guys could change anything in the world right now, like anything, what would it be? I would like to see more females in executive positions. And I notice this is a trend within North America predominantly. Um, however, it does extend to the rest of the world. And I would really like to see more females um, in those higher positions. As women, often we do hit a glass ceiling, which means that w there's only a certain kind of level that we can that we have been achieving um, now I'm not saying that this is everyone but uh, it it is proven um, that this is is happening and I think that um, women in our society have so much to offer um, they are you know women are making leaps and bounds in the world um, in technology in medicine in science in education and so I think that as Miss World Canada I've I've um, had the opportunity to meet some of these women. They've been such an inspiration to me. And so I know that the delegates of this year's competition will also have a chance to meet some women in very high places, um, some women that have worked very hard their entire lives to get where they are. Yeah, nice. Well, as I like to say, us women, we can do anything men can do in six inch heels. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs>education that you think gives you an edge in the competition? I believe that education is extremely important to have as a foundation to be an independent woman and throughout your life you learn you have knowledge, morals and values and it just it gives you a good stand on your shoulders and I'm currently completing my legal studies and Miss World Canada has given me a platform to utilize my public speaking skills, my organization, organization skills and just everything that I've learned in the past 20 years, to be able to use that is just really important and nice. Nice, nice. Oh, congratulations. So what do you guys think is currently the biggest issue in our world today, and how do you guys think we can solve it? You know, there are so many issues that are very important in our world today. We see a lot of conflict, a lot of poverty, a lot of um, inequality in our world. But I think something that's um, very important and that touches us here at home in Canada uh, are our children again, um, especially those that need more help. You know, our, our at-risk our at-risk youth, um, mm -hmm. children with special needs and disabilities. And Miss World Canada is, you know, one another organization that is helping these these children, these vulnerable children. Um, last year we raised $64,000 for Variety, the children's charity here in BC. And, you know, I, I always give this example because it touches my heart and I know it would um, touch other people's hearts as well, but uh, the example of by donating that money, we are giving children the opportunity to do things that they may not have had the opportunity mm -hmm. to do, such as um, getting that chairlift at their home installed so that they can live with their family or providing a child with a hearing aid whereas before they were unable to hear things that we take for granted. Um, special walking equipment so a child who was wheelchair bound um, can now be able to walk with assistance. Things like that that are very important, giving these children a chance at more of a normal um, life that other children experience. So I think that supporting these at-risk youth is very important and um, it's a very important issue in our country but also around the world so I'm very very proud to say that I'm a part of an organization that does such amazing community work. Oh, that's beautiful and you, you're right there are so many things in life that we take for granted like we don't even realize how blessed we are sometimes and it's nice to give back to those who are less fortunate so that they can also take time to stop and breathe in the flowers and things like that. So speaking of, you know, the fundraisers and things like that, if you were to have your own amount of money with that's like that much, if you woke up one day and you won the lottery, what would you do with it? Oh, excitement! <laughs> Sorry. Yes, lottery! Yes. I mean, we've all thought about winning the lottery. Like, if I had a million dollars, what would I do? Um, my first thing would always be to buy my mom a house. 
Uh, we have always been below the poverty line, four kids. My mom struggled her whole life, so I feel like if I gave something back to her, it would, it would mean a lot for the 20 years of struggling she's had. Um, as well, I mean, I'd obviously buy myself a house, maybe a car. I sold my car to move to the city. Um, but I'd also put in as much as I possibly could into my nonprofit because I want to make it as successful as I possibly can. Yeah, from there on, you never know. Things can blossom. Exactly, exactly. So if you win Miss World Canada, you're definitely going to lose, I guess, a bit of privacy. And do you, are you guys ready for that? Like, how do you know if you're going to be ready and how are you going to take it? Well, I believe as a 2014 delegate or any delegate in any year, um, you're always in the public eye and it's not only if you are the Miss World Canada um, queen. So I believe it's very important to be a public figure uh, for children um, and young women around the world. Uh, so I would love to be a role model and I'm ready and I'm trying right now uh, <laughs> to be a good role model. So um, I'm very excited. Yay! <laughs> Team Taylor. All right, so, you. oh, you're welcome. We're all here for different reasons to help change the world in different ways, but what is your personal cause and why should we support it? I believe that um, having the title of Miss World Canada or as a delegate, um, you have this power to address, um, to, to be a part of all these issues that we have, like poverty, abuse, and bullying and everything. But as a delegate, my cause or my reason for doing this is to inspire other women. I just raised $10,000 for the Varieties Charity. So my reason of entering this pageant or wanting to be involved is I like to do things that make me happy. I like to inspire myself and other people. And I think that anything from writing a test to raising money to learning a dance or anything at all that makes you happy, that should just be a cause to be happy yourself and to make other people happy. And you should just support it, and you should support good people and good-hearted people, and just, just a good thing. <laughs> yeah, and that's true, because being happy is all part of also being healthy, so it's nice to see everyone smiling. <laughs> smiling! <laughs> all right, so, well, I know that this journey for you guys has definitely been crazy. There's been ups and downs, like any other thing, but probably mostly ups. And so on this roller coaster ride, what do you guys think is probably your most memorable experience overall? when uh, I attended a Princess Tea Party for a Variety, the children's charity. And I was with a couple of the delegates. Um, some of them are, um, are actually in the room here. And I thought it was a very powerful experience because these little girls, um, they struggle with mental disabilities and, and challenges. And they were able to escape that for the couple of hours that we were there to give them an opportunity to have fun and be a princess for the day. And I thought that was just, um, uh, a, you know, reality setting in for me of how powerful this organization really is and how it can really make a difference. Yeah, Thank that's, you. Oh, that's really sweet, yeah. And, you know, they're all princesses. Everyone, every woman is a princess or a queen in their own skin. It just takes time to actually see that person, kind of like how when I do my, speak, my speeches for anti-bullying, I always say, everyone has a warrior inside them and your shield and your armor just gets harder and thicker as you progress in life and even if you get all these scars and cuts and wounds thrown at you at least in the end you can wear them with pride and say that you know you made it and you're a survivor and power I like thank you thank you very very nice and it was of course very very lovely meeting you guys and getting to know all of you guys and i'm definitely going to see you guys very very soon <laughs> incredibly soon but as for the rest of you guys sitting at home behind your laptop behind your tv be sure to come and watch miss world canada this year it's going to be on may 11th at the bell performing arts center so you can find more details on how you can get tickets and things like that on their website missworldcanada.com so be sure to check that out and maybe you'll see me maybe you'll see these lovely ladies there and we hope to see you there most importantly hey everyone so right now i am here with the chairman of miss world canada mr ike lalji and some of the volunteers for this year so maybe if you guys could all introduce yourselves and what you guys do hello my name is natalia sulemanova i'm public relations manager and i help in the here with pr um, hello everyone, my name is Dina Pajuruna and I'm a business development manager. Hi everyone, my name is Mari, I'm assistant stylist and we, I'm happy with uh, 
dressing the girls the day of the event? Well, we have uh, about 30 volunteers. And uh, as you know, this pageant is extensive to put together, lots of details. Mm -hmm. And volunteers are such that they work in the background. They don't necessarily get all the recognition that they're supposed to get. But without them, this whole big event wouldn't have been possible. That's true. So we have about 30 volunteers. And today, I mean, we are lucky to have three here mm -hmm. for your TV program. And thank you for having us here. This event is very big. It's a good platform to show your skills. What I uh, should say is MERS World Canada is an organization with purpose that uh, tends to change the world and do good things for unprivileged children. And I think it's very important. And uh, it, uh, it is the major point why I liked it. And the other is that every delegate, every contestant from Miss World Canada, um, they are, how would I say, they are taken care of. Most important is because the company help the young, the young children and it's not only building, it's not only dress, it's not only princess. Help to change the world, that's why. I can't emphasize enough that we as Canadians, we should be proud because we have taken a lead in the pageant world. Um, uh, the way we are running the pageant is different. We have mm -hmm. introduced development programs, we have introduced many other tools to empower the young girls. It's not just a talk. Each and every girl is empowered. They stay together as part of the pageant. And, uh, and if you just think about it, there's a Miss World organization. Uh, so far, we have raised over $500 million. So we are committed to change the lives of other uh, children in, around the world. So it's something very beautiful. We have taken the lead, and now we have been asked to teach other pageants on what changes we have made. So I think we have to be very proud about that. Well, thank you guys for coming here today and uh, talking to us a little bit more about Miss World Canada. And for everyone else, I hope to see you guys at the event. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. See you next week on Everly FM.